the ciphers, like for me, was really like the ABCs of of this hip hop thing. You know what I mean? And before we started formulating groups, you know, you kind of did ciphers to kind of find out who really has skills. You know what I mean? And then once you find out who had the skills, you kind of gravitated to each other. And this is kind of how the groups started. You know what I mean? So, I mean, KK... Like, we all come out of the South Bronx, but we all come from different sections of the Bronx. You know what I mean? And all our paths came together, you know what I mean? And we formulated the first hip-hop group from the Bronx to get a legitimate record deal. The first hip-hop group with a female. Her name is Shaw Rock. She is the first female of hip-hop. And we were the first hip-hop group to do national television. Out of New York, we did baby. Saturday Night Live <laughs> with Deborah Harry on Valentine's Day 1981. You know, so... As far as me emceeing, when I came up, um, we talking 30-something years ago in the 70s, I heard the Funky 4 Plus One More come down to Harlem. I'm from Harlem, you know what I'm saying? Right now we're in the Bronx, I'm representing Harlem. And the Funky 4 came down with the graffiti jackets and the graffiti jeans out with the routines. MC's Rodney C was definitely one of my role models. I wanted, when I was, before we even met them, I was already a fan and looking at them on out. So they had like the sixth record in hip-hop. They made a 14-minute record, rapping and rocking. I mean, they they under the first 10 hip-hop records in existence. That's very important for me to be right here. This is like my uncle in hip-hop right here.